Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and my little tutorial series where I give you the tools to improve and do whatever you wish to do in the game, I guess. I never really figured out how to introduce this series. It's still a mystery. Anyway, uh, last time we went through some uh, blueprinting and how to do and how to build from a blueprint and what kind of a size is the items are, I guess. Uh, today we are going to be doing the simple furnishing for it first. We are going to be uh, getting rid of all this that we have here. I'm just going to take a K, which is a bulldoze tool, and get rid of all of this that we have in here. Because it's not what we wanted in here. It was just there to show us the measurements of what things were. And I'm not sure, we should probably start with the fact that um, bathroom. Bathrooms are always fun. Let's start with light. I don't still have move objects on, so it's easier for you guys to see. However, if you do shift and the size down command that I gave you, you can still size down the lamps. And these are my favorite, they give the best lighting. No exception with that. Then we are gonna go here and look for to, uh, some sort of tile. Let's see what this lot actually costs now. 8.6k. Okay, not too bad. Um, when we are doing starter homes, I guess we could start with that. We always want the cheapest stuff, right? But when we are looking at the tile prices, they are actually, majority of them are for simoleons for price. I don't actually know. There is the new, um, higher price, 8. Everything after that is going to be a higher price and out of our budget as far as we know now. So from the cheapest ones, we well, the majority of these are something I use anyway in my builds. Which means that we can do such a lovely bathroom, no matter what. With a shift I can cover the whole floor. With a point I can turn the tile the way I want. And then we can look for some sort of a tile. Maybe under the wall. I, I'm in Finland. We have wet rooms. We have showers. We don't have bathtubs as often as people would think. For example, in our apartment, we have a sauna. You have a two-person sauna instead of a bathtub. We have a shower, wet room, and a sauna. Quite a revelation, isn't it, for my, most of you? Uh, which means that we don't have the like wooden panels or something on our bathroom walls. We actually need to use tile so the bathroom dries and it does a so-called moisture. So this is what I'm gonna do as well, and I kind of want to just grab a white, white regular tile here. It's a classic, nothing wrong with it ever. In last episode we were thinking about if we have a toddler in the house, and I kind of like the idea that we keep an, uh, the toddler in the mix, which means that for bathroom we can pull up modern relief, we can pull it up in here into the corner here, and when I'm now taking the accents, it means that I'm looking for the toilet paper roll. I can now aim myself down here, see the level of the path, uh, the toilet seat, and put the toilet roll there, so they can use it if they so need and wish. Okay? Seems so usually don't, but you know, that would be pretty cool animation if it was a thing. Then we last time decided that we do have want to have this combo. So we have really only a couple of these combos that I like to use, and it's usually this one or the most expensive double delight. But let's go and actually use the cheaper one because we are trying to do a little bit of a cheaper stuff now. So let's choose that. It goes with the blue, it's a white and very generic, whatever look alike. Then we need a sink, and I love this retro big sink, and it has all these cute colors, so we can choose any cute, like, um, mint green color for it, for example. 
or we can go through them a little bit and see if there's anything better. Oh, that's pretty cute. Okay, that's a green, that's a yellow. Okay, I kind of like this one. Let's go with that one. And um, then we wanted the toddler potty thing as well. So let's snuck that in there and we can turn it just a little bit without the cheat you can still with the alt to turn things around even the sink can be pulled into different place if you so wish but let's not then every bathroom needs a mirror here comes a problem this sink is a pain in the butt it's so high the majority of the mirrors here the cheap ones are not gonna be high enough and for that we are not having a sim family moved in yet so we can choose this hard time mirror which is from get to work and we can put that in it is not ideal we could even go with this one possibly and the price is the same, so we could do that. It's like a medicine cabinet look of thing, so that's perfect. Then we need some uh, towel. We always want to have a little bit of um, decorations. But it's really hard when you don't have move objects, that where you can put the items. You need to always pull them quite high up. You need to find the golden spa and put it on there. I like to put the towel next to the sink because you are washing your hands and you dry your hands, but you can also put it in here. It's a more humane level. Hide in here instead than right there in half height on the wall. So we can ignore the fact that we want to have it in next to the sink and just put it in there. Normally we want also a rug, but in majority of the starter homes it's not exactly a thing we want to go for but argument's sake let's pull up a cats and dogs little ball and heart rock in there it's really cute yup 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 and that's a one room done didn't need anything fancy with it i have no idea per se for what this apartment looks inside some people might even decide what the houses look like before they built them i don't usually go that far i just build and go with it whatever i come up with some people really like to have like a story behind everything and stuff like that i'm not the person so i'm just gonna go and choose oh let's uh no that was cuter that was a uh, dark blue really cute and we had the toddler in thoughts so we are gonna go with the toddler i think we are gonna go with this blue and yet again there is the issue of having a toddler bed in such a tight corners but i'm gonna pull it up in here we also need some sort of a flooring probably in here we could Oh, I don't like the carpets. I just can't get over it. They're so hideous. Um, how expensive are all the hard floor, hardwood floors? Okay, we have quite a few at the four, so maybe sloppy paint. That's pretty cute. That's basic white flooring. And then we can need to go and grab the nightstand, which is here. And when it's a toddler, we do need a nightlight. There is no exception on that because they just... Wake up everybody in your household if you don't have this thing. And I like to, you know, move them a little bit around, put them in a little bit more convenient spot, sometimes even on the floor, right next to the bed, size them down, you know, something like that instead. Like so. So it's actually there as a nightlight right next to them and they don't get nightmares. Then we have the opportunity to figure out what kind of a Toys the child is gonna have, what what are the space requirements? Well, in this case, we don't have a space for a dollhouse. It is that quarters, we would need to move the bed to the other side of the room to be able to put it in here. But we are not gonna do that. It is rather expensive toy, after all. So, we are just gonna go with the little bit of uh, blocks here. 
blocks are always nice. We're gonna move them a little bit like so in an angle. You can also have a teddy bear. Teddy bear is always fun to have. And I think the kit doesn't really need much more than that. But some people like to have a lot of stuff for them. So I always have the possibility to fill in whatever things you want to have. But I never go with the effort of do many things in the kids room. They grow up so fast. And it's not even a lie. They grow up so fast. So then we can look for some sort of a carpeting. Uh, these carpets are big, big, big. These are huge. They don't fit into the room, but we could possibly fit in something cute like this. Yes, we can put a froggy. There we go. We can put a froggy in there. What a cute. Okay. And in this case, there's a three square curtains. It means that these are not going to be good. They're not going to help us. I possibly would consider doing with these. I love these island living curtains. These are adorable. I would probably just snuck them in there. If you're talking about starter home, it's a very less likely that you will be able to put that if you are putting money in on better fridge or stove or something like that. What is our money like now? 12,000. Okay. Also, we did choose expensive lights. There might be a chance that we need to give them away. But, just one of those things. In the blueprint, you could see that the bed was drawn like this way. It was uh, from two to three, this way. But I'm thinking that we could maybe snuck it in here. So let's take a look at the cheap beds. I don't really like any of the cheap beds. I kind of like this bed a lot. It has some character in it. It has a little bit color, all that stuff. So we are going to try to put that in. And this blue that stands very perfect for it. I would even consider putting some lights on the side. We have the perfect little candles here. I would put these orange ones maybe here. And these go on the side, so you can add something more on the table most likely as well. Let's see if we can fit, like, uh, that's a little bit dangerous on that. Let's put it up there. Um, I'm always thinking like real life, as if they would knock it over or something. But then you can add maybe books on there, yeah? So now we can look into getting a wallpaper in here. And I think I had a great idea of trying to snug in this blue it is 11 simoleon per square um, wallpaper but it's really cute which means we could put maybe dark floor as well fits really well together here and we have already the walking closet here we could change the color of that we can make it any color we want we could oh, i'm gonna make it a yellow sure why not it, it's funky it's a weird combination but that that'll do and then yet again we can look for a curtain and with the i think this is a first my first bed pack uh hang on yes my first bed pack that had these uh multi multi-level curtains and they are so handy so I'm going to put that in there. It went a little high. But uh, it's something we can't control when we don't have move objects on. So they just lock on to whatever spot they do. When we go here, we can see that it's a little bit cut into the roof or ceiling. But it uh, it let us do it. So we are, we are just going to ignore it for now. And with the dark floor, it doesn't necessarily even need any carpet. I could... Possibly consider putting a little bit like, um, is there any cute, well, that colorful, yeah, sure. We could consider putting like next to the bed, like so. So they actually have something warm to step on instead of a cold wooden floor in the morning, maybe? I don't know, just an idea. Now we have the living room to go to and the kitchen area and dining area. And... 
I do not know exactly how I would like to do it. It's m- possibility that they will not have a expensive TV or anything like that. So we could. Um, I'm pretty sure we could just put like a regular stand of something like this into the corner, like so. Maybe even just there in the middle of the there. Let's see how it looks. We, we are just going to experiment a little bit right now. We are going to try to figure out how this living room works out. And with this square footage here, I would change the door, by the way. That's a hideous door. The windows will work, but I'm going to change the door just a, a little bit. Can we have this? This door, sure. This is much cuter. There we go. Not exactly a outside door or, well, modern door, should I say, but it'll do it for us for now. And I'm looking at this now and I think. I think I think. There is a possibility that we could do a corner couch. If we had move objects on, we could pull these pretty close. We still can pretty close without move objects. That's actually very, very impressive how close I can pull it on. So now we have a corner couch here with these two. These are from uh, my first bed back as well. and. These are absolutely lovely. They go so well together. And I there is a chance Sim sits here. My not so very family actually uh, witnessed this. Um, they can sit in this corner. They just need to shuffle to this and then walk out. They can step out. Um, which is really funny. They are kind of sitting in, in feet and knees inside the other couch. But it works. You can have four Sims sitting at the same time, which is really cool. So now we can also consider maybe taking one of these kind of like Ottomans, maybe even this one. That's a pretty cute one. Maybe pink one. And they have this like a couch at uh, the pillow at the back like so. So you can snuck them quite close to each other again. You can have five sims at the same time if you so wish to watch TV. Then we have a possibility to put a plant here in the corner. We could decorate it a little bit like so. I'm giving such a crazy colors for this house. It's interesting. Then we need to think what color, what budget we are at. 1488. We're just gonna try out. I don't actually know the budget for a three, a three sim family to move into a house. I don't actually know the budget. So we will see if I can actually get it to hit it, hit the right spot. But we'll see. And I kind of want to have a little bit of an odd color room here. Oh, that's a cute. Yes, we could take that. And then I think there is a zero costing flooring. That's a white floor. Just no wooden floor. Nothing like it. Nothing fancy. It comes in blue. It comes in black. Maybe we do the little bit beige looking color. Yes, it's a little odd. I love it. <laughs> okay. And there's also the porch. We need a door for the porch. So we can we can use just a regular glass door for that. That's going to be working nicely. And why you didn't want to go here is because of the pillar. So you can keep that in mind as well. You can remove the pillars. They are quite expensive. They're 45 at each. But there we go. And I think that window is... Okay, it's a 30 simoleons. What was this? 30 simoleons. Oh, what did I press? Yikes. <laughs> okay. Well, that was interesting. We took a detour. I didn't mean to. I'm very sorry. Uh, but yeah. Uh, what were we doing? We were going to do kitchen, I think. Kitchen dining. Yeah. I think I have a good idea as well. If I'm looking at the square footage space that we have here, I have a perfect idea. Um, following the blueprint, it shows that the door would be on this corner here, but I'm actually leaving a space here perfectly for some counters and maybe 
I'm putting a fridge here. Would fridge oh fridge works even in front of a door without move objects on? That's good. Okay. And um, I kind of like this blue now, so I'm gonna pull up these counters here. I'm gonna pull up them here as well. And now I can turn it on so it turns it automatically. That would need to be an end piece as well. So let's choose the uh, stove first. We're gonna pull up a white stove, just regular stove. Then we are gonna pull, it, pull this up and I think we're gonna pull this end piece like so. Yes? Yes, we have a big kitchen here, mates. What we could do, we could even consider getting rid of this, to be honest, and just uh, pull uh, counters here, like so. We could consider doing this instead, which is pretty, pretty all right. We could do this. It's not, it's not anything impossible. I mean, that works too. We could have chairs here. I am not sure though if a sim could walk to eat in this corner here exactly. In majority of the cases they can do such a crazy thing, but I do not know. We are just gonna try it out. We are gonna put it up in there. With the toddler though, we can start with two and I'm sure they can get into these uh, stools, so that's okay. Or uh, let's actually go with the control Z so we can actually get to the original area. What was this? And we could take a dining table. Oh, there we go. And did we have any cute new dining tables? We had the one from Di uh, Island Living, this one, which is pretty cute. But it's not a square table, so I can't figure out how to make it work exactly in this space. So I'm going to ignore it. Um, I kind of like these a lot. These are really cute tables. Still, I kind of like the bar situation better than this one. If we are just going to take a look like so. It's not impossible. It's not ugly per se, but I like the... Like the uh, bar better. Let's build it up again. Let's pull that there. Then we are pulling these up in here. There we go. And I think even this piece we could actually have a end piece like so. So in some cases we could consider having a sim sitting there instead. And now, here comes the test. You need to always a little bit of a play test your build because you never know if a sim gets stuck. Okay, you need to remember that. Everyone has to keep an eye on that because there's a possibility that even though it looks to you like, yeah, yeah, that'll work, it doesn't. There's a chance on that on every single build and you have to, you're, you're personally the one who is supposed to test all that. So, there we go. We have a massive kitchen. Massive kitchen for a starter home. I hope starter home. Ooh, 18. Okay, okay. Um, if we are lucky, we have a very well starting off family with the story mode. We will see. Let's see. Uh, we will need a trash can, of course. We could consider snucking it next to here. If we had a move objects on, we could even put it closer than this. But uh, with this cheat on, it doesn't like to go too close. It seems that it doesn't like to snug up to the... Grabbing it too much. Oh my goodness. Oh. Well, okay, fine. It'll have to peek a little bit around the corner. We can live with that. And because we are talking about same homes, we will have a ugly, ugly, terrible quality microwave. And I think, do we have any display stuff that we could put up that doesn't cost a ton? These are cute. We could put these up. These are 
uh, from what is this? Laundry day? Yeah. So we could we could try to aim it like so, maybe. And then we need to figure out what are decorative items that we could put up there. But then again, we are most likely ending up going broke if we are gonna put everything up in there. But we can put a little bit up in there to give a little bit of a, you know, color, color oomph thing for this house. Let's see what kind of a painting we could put maybe here. What do we have? Do we have something like this? Is this not quite what I had in mind? Is there anything else? It's taking me a while to find something. Let's just pull up these blue bobs. That's a cute one. Yeah, sure. Why not? And here I would consider putting a carpet down on the floor. Let's put a purple one. I'm going to size it up at least once to actually have a little bit of a... Actually, like a real size of it there. Uh, we don't have a bookcase. We could have a bookcase. We have uh, this cheap bookcase here. And uh, we can pull it pretty close to the edge of the wall here. Um, we also have this one that came with the free update from base game, which I adore. This is a very cute one. You can put stuff on the shelves as well if you want. This one, not my favorite. Um, I use this quite a lot, but this space, not exactly for it. We will block the front door. And I think we can also pull up like... Uh, brush here so they can clean up the front door there this is a little bit of an awkward area i don't actually know what i would normally do with this the doors are a little bit awkward i could move this door uh, like there and i could possibly put like a floor light here even color it to yellow maybe to have a little bit of a character to it there we go have a little bit in there Maybe even uh, carpet. There we go. Maybe change the color to orange. I don't know. Something like so. Yeah. And then we have basically a starter home. I think that's basically what we have here now with the budget. This is where I would probably move the Sim family in and see what happens. What we also need is a bin. I'm gonna put it right here. And then we need a mailbox, which I'm gonna choose this kitty cat because it's so freaking cute. So we're gonna put it, uh, that's weird spot. I don't know why it was weird spot, but right now it was weird spot. So we're gonna pull it up in there. Maybe the bin a little bit like so. There we go. And then we can go here. We can maybe even grab bit of a flower here there we go looks a little bit lived in right right i think so so now i'm gonna go into the manage worlds then we are gonna go and create a household and we are gonna go into here at sim via a story and i'm gonna do this again we are gonna get our family and i will see you after that is done all right Okay, so here we are. I made two sims with the story thing feature and I made them a child. I gave them random names and I just let them be the looks that they came in. So appreciate the create a sim fashion. And we can actually move in to this house that we built. And we have extra funds as well. So let's head in and move in. Let's get it furnished. Okay, so we got the family moved in. They're sleeping. It was middle of the night time. Uh, we are gonna go and do some landscaping now with the funds that we have left. And what are those glimmery things here? What is this? Are they flowers? They are! I had no idea! Oh, that's so cute! Wow, I had no idea. The more you learn every day. Uh, yeah, we furnished it, we have everything else, but we need some landscaping. Now, let's start with the fact that fences. We went through a little bit 
uh, fences before and we are gonna be take the drawing pencil again and let's put the grid on so you can see uh, let's take this regular ladder style horizontal fencing that is one of the base game uh, original phase, uh, fences from the base game and I'm gonna show you some little details that you can do and this is if you draw a fence from outside to inside against the wall it will be on the floor however if you start building the fence from the wall it will come with the foundation in some cases the foundation is actually a smart idea but in this case definitely not what we want so we can completely ignore that we can pull up the fence out here let's build it from the far in again and then we are gonna be pulling out here again and sometimes you don't even want to use the whole space you want to probably put some plants here just an idea you probably want to you know have some sort of uh, plants here or there and yet again these are not perfectly spaced out for this space so we are gonna remove them we also have these this beautiful little shrubbery which i love but because we are not having move objects on today we will ignore it and then we will we can push these pretty far together which makes it pretty good for building this kind of a like a fence which means that you can now fix it like so so you can push them like a square inside each other and you can have more i don't know how to explain it just more luscious uh lush fence whatever you want to call it then we can pick up some trees we can have uh, where are we we are in new crest we have some pine trees we have some greenery okay in the cheat uh cheat menu the debug menu patch that we got on the 16th it means that we on the 16th of the july i don't know what day is it today that the video comes out um there was a many beautiful like a combo like a there was like three or four of the pine trees together and they were beautiful they would be perfect for this lot but we are not doing cheats today so we are just gonna pull up just any regular pine tree there and i think we are gonna pull up like just a birch tree here let's put it a little bit in this way and then we can go into the objects by room and into the outdoor area and click onto this activities where we will find all these like planting boxes we can probably put some boxes here we can have them here for example for one in the family to do i don't know if anyone in the family is interested in this but now they have the opportunity and then in some cases i would even consider putting this little box of decorations for them i had to look up the word because i lost it because just in case if they want to have some holidays they can because of the uh planting they can even have a little bit of flower planting thing here we can do a little bit of some sort of a shape here like so we can have this in here i'm not choosing colors really right now we didn't have a laundry machine so i'm not putting the clothes line up we could have a swing for the future purposes for the kid uh, the kid doesn't really have the totally mm, we could have ball bed the famous ball bed but i don't think we will do that what we can do though is if i can find it where is it for summer heat we can have a little bit of a pool for it though we we could uh, go into the pool with the kid on some point yeah and here maybe we can have can have just a you know it's not exactly a place to get sun bites there they can move the chair if they needed to 
Uh, we can put a little bit of a light. Light? We could use actually a proper light. Uh, in, in what? 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 What do you? There we go. Found the spot. There we go. Now we have light on the backyard as well a little bit. There we go. And now it's very simple. It's not anything fancy landscaping. But what I would like to do is to have the opportunity to put some scratchy or used up flimsy looking grass here. And I'm gonna adjust it to the very soft position. And I choose the medium size and I'm just gonna press up a little bit in here, a little bit in here, like just doing this really irregular like painting here, like do doing it so that there has been actually someone standing around in there and walking up and then right next to the porch as well, like really good idea. You're always stepping off from the porch, so you have to have your foot somewhere, right? So we can do a little bit of a used cross effect here. Yeah. There we go. Same here. You can do the similar effect in here. You can paint up on top of the tiles and give the like a uh, gone bad grass effect there. Now if we would have the debug menu, I would use a many, many beautiful flowers and stuff in here, but we don't have it, so we are just gonna go with what we have here. What I like to do is to pull these up and add some these on top of it, but we don't have the cheat on, so we have very little, very little to work with. Um, maybe we could do a little bit like that, and I'm pretty sure we can do a simple gate around it like so we have like a little bit of a flower bed there yes and then i'm pretty sure we had some sort of a bushes here we could put just regular bush here yeah and in the front as well we could do a little bit like uh, we could put even like a some flower like cross here we could put a little bit living front porch here. There we go. Beautiful. And at the front I could consider even putting a light. Now this is a huge huge street light. I don't think that would be the smartest idea. So we could even just put like a couple of these in next to the windows. That would be pretty cute, right? Maybe even higher. There we go. Looking at it in the dark. Yeah, why not? Pretty good. Not too, not too shabby. Uh, we didn't do anything with the terrain tools. I can go through that on later point if you want. But I don't really enjoy it myself too much. So you just have to let me know if you want me to go through some landscaping in, with the terrain tool or not. I like flat lots myself, the terrain tool is really difficult and it's just making my head in most of the time to figure things out. So this is what our home now looks like. We have very simple bedrooms, it has some toys, we have a bathroom with a little potty. I never put the high chair in my builds anymore because they are so broken. Toddlers are such a hassle anyway and I I really lift the hat to anyone who plays 100, 100 Baby Challenge because toddlers so infuriating. So here's the little living room. I'm actually really happy with this. I love it. It's really cute. And the kitchen as well. It's massive. It's so big. Can't believe it. we managed to do it. Wow. This family had a lot of money to move in though, I think. But yeah. Thank you for joining me today. Let me know down in the below if you have something to ask, ask away. If you have any suggestions for future episodes, let me know. See you in the next one. Bye bye.